Well, hey gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report. And it's not coming to you from La Paz, but as a matter of fact, once again from our hotel room while we're on the road doing our show tours. As a matter of fact, right now we are in Redmond, Oregon, and right after this we're running back into our booth, which is at the Deschutes County Fairgrounds for the Central Oregon Sportsman Show, and that goes on through Sunday. So if you can make it down, come on down, come see us, and let's get you set up for La Paz. I'll talk about that in just a minute, but let me tell you, this is going to cover all of the fishing action back in La Paz for the 4th through the 10th of March 2022. Okay, let's talk about fishing real quick. There was a lot of ups and there was a lot of downs. There were a lot of days that once again were windy. The port captain, as a matter of fact, had to close things down in a couple of days. And then a couple of days, you know, uh, the winds were blowing so strong, it was difficult to get bait. We did send some folks out. They knew it was going to be windy, but, you know, it was their vacation. They still put in the time. Hats off to them. Hats off to our skippers. They still got some fish. There were a couple of days where the winds were down, but even then the bait was very, very difficult to get. Listen, if it's really, really windy, the bait guys aren't going to go out there because they know that there's not a lot of fishermen to begin with, let alone if it's windy, a lot of folks that might have gone fishing are not going to go fishing. So the bait guys aren't out there. And even if they do go out, as I've told you before, from November to April is our off season. You just can't tell when these winds are going to blow really strong and blow everyone off the water. And if the winds are blowing strong, even if the bait guys go out there, it's going to be tough for them to get into those shallow areas when the winds are blowing, the waves are crashing into these shallow areas, and they can't throw their nets to get the bait. So that was problematic this week. Uh, there was a lack of bait because the winds have really just mess things up but we did get some boats out uh, there were two days that we were able to get folks out and the waters were calm enough to uh, get out and do some fishing the yellowtail are still biting uh, they're at the north and the south end of Seralvo Island also some very nice areas around Espiritu Santo area mostly in the shallow areas what you've got to do to find these yellowtail which are running 20 30 pound fish is number one Bait helps, but if not, you've got to do some jigging, and you're going to do jigging over the high spots, over these structured areas. And a lot of the fish that are going to get hooked, let me tell you, they are bruisers. They're going to take you right back into the rocks, so lines are going to get cut, hooks are going to get pulled, and if you're not ready for a freight train hitting your line, uh, you're going to lose a lot of these fish. But a couple were put in the boats. They were, as I said, 20, 30 pounders, maybe some smaller 10, 15 pounders, but those are really prized fish and nice fish to get this last week. This coming week looks like the winds are up again. Uh, it's going to be hit or miss. If you're coming down, as I've said before, what you've got to do is let us know you've got some flexibility. So if, let's say, Tuesday is when you want to fish, but I look at the forecast and it looks like the winds are going to blow, I can tell you, well, listen, wait till Thursday or Friday and you have a better chance of having better fishing. Other species we caught this year, uh, or excuse me, this past week, uh, some pargo, some cabrilla. There's a lot of white blue bonita around as well that are uh, very, very tasty. These aren't the junk bonita. All bonita are fun to catch, but there are some that are better eating than others. So we've got some white and blue bonita around. Jack Cravella providing a lot of inshore action. And we got our first rooster fish this week. Also, It was released, but about a 30 pound fish. So we know that the rooster fish are starting to come in. That's a little early for us, but a good sign because a lot of folks come down. We are the rooster fish capital of the world. World record 114 pounder caught on our beaches. And we've had fish 50, 60, 80, 100 pounders are not uncommon in our area. So good to know the rooster fish are in. That's going to be a quick wrap up on what's going on with our fishing this past week. Again, we are at the Central Oregon Sportsman Show in Redmond, Oregon this week until Sunday. It goes from the 10th to the 13th. And after that, we've only got two more shows left on the road. We're going to go to Spokane, Washington for the Bighorn uh, Sheep Show. And then we go to Denver for the Sportsman's uh, International Sportsman Show at the Denver Convention Center. A lot to get out. Anyway, a quick wrap up. Got to get going. Got to get into the booth. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in. And please, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. God bless you. Take care of each other. We'll catch you next week. Mm -hmm.